two seconds. I don't know why it's not showing up yet. Do you anyway. want to use this to see who all is here? Hi, Tiffany here. Welcome to my quilting life. If you are new to my channel, subscribe, like, share my videos with your quilty friends, as well as don't forget to comment if you're watching this as a replay. So, today is so Sunday. Obviously, we sew on Sundays. It's just, that's what we do. Don't mind me today, though. I do have a super sinus headache, as well as I tried to comb my bed head down, but as soon as it dries, it's probably going to stick right back up again, because that's what happens. Anyway, so today we're on from the tablet, because <coughs> we wanted no glitching. And it's not. And it's doing amazing. So far, it looks like to be doing good. So, let's see who is here today. We got Jill here. Hello. Um... And if you guys see the Tiff G, that's me. This, that's Scott because he's on my other account. <laughs> uh, we got Emily here. Hello. Uh, Jessica is here. Hello. Mary is here. Hello. Kim is here. Hello, Kim. We got Anne. Hi, Anne. Uh, Kaz is here. Hello. Uh, Emily says, so good to see you guys. And here the hubby. Can't wait to sew with you all. Awesome. Thank you. Hi, Anita. And we got Brenda here and Kathleen here. And then people saying hello. So today I am doing, as the title says, square in a square. What is a square in a square? It is when you take a square and you put it inside of a square. Yep, that's a square in a square. So today I am working with five inch squares which will be these, which is a whole stack of five inch squares, and four and a half inch squares from my background fabrics, which are these. This is my background fabric, one, and then background fabric number two is this. Why? Because it all goes together. It looks great together. So I already cut most of my stuff in half. I was trying to do it all before the video so that today has me not standing and cutting on screen because like I said I have a sinus headache so being upright actually hurts like seriously so but I want to make something and that's what I'm gonna do so let's see who else came in since I seen Brenda and Kathleen okay so we got Jim, Jim is here hi we got Lisa is here finally caught me huh <laughs> We got Rowena here, Shirley is here, Dawn, um, Suburban is here, Katrina is here, Judy, Angela, and Nita, Billy. I love that wolf fabric. Thank you very much. And Heather. Hello, everybody, and welcome. So, again, to reiterate, five inch squares, just a whole stack of them. Um, Hi, Heather. Hi, June. I've been adding to the Hi, stack. Hi, Darlene. Hello, 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 everybody. And I'm using, I don't know, half of a, I guess a half of a yard of two different backgrounds because there's like 50 something squares here. I think we're going with 56 or the next number up after that. I don't remember. I'm Lila. I'm Margaret. Four and a half inch squares Maggie. for my <laughs> accent Hello. colors. And I am cutting them all in half on the diagonal. I didn't want to have to do all this on camera because I didn't want to stand and I really, really, really just want to have it done and ready. Am I ironing those pieces? No, they don't need to okay. be ironed. So we're going to build square in a square and it shall be fun. And then the end of, if you stick around to the end of this video, we will do a giveaway today, which you guys will super duper like. So stick around because... It may take me a while to do things today because my head hurts, but it shall get done. All right, so my accent colors were all cut on the diagonal just once, and then my five inch squares, and then that's all I need five inch squares and some diagonals. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my five inch squares, some aren't the correct direction because I just cut them all because I was digging through my pile of my my room shelves for accent more color to add to this to make it fun 
and I found this word fabric. I don't usually use word fabrics, but Jill I says do I have like them. Your hair. <laughs> when it dries, it's going to be sticking up. Just watch. My bed head stays with me for hours. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Shelly. <clears throat> Hi, Dawn. Welcome, Are everybody. Are the diagonals in. four and a half inches? Yes, the diagonal uh, um, color, the accent colors, I'm using two different accent colors, are four and a half inch squares. Like I said, I only cut half a yard of both. And then my five inch squares, there's like, there was 54, and now there's a bunch more because I did not count. <laughs> so, like, 54 plus Hi, Nancy. 10 or something like that. I don't know. I'm just going to sew them either way, and then whatever I don't put into my layout. Well, we were going for 63, 7 times 9. Okay, we'll do that. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, Sarah's new. Thank you for joining, Sarah. Is what you said? Yes. Okay. 63 squares, 63 five inch squares, and 63 in total of two different colors of um, four and a half inch squares. That's what we're doing here. Cut on the diagonal. Heather made a charm I spy for her 10 year old. That's awesome, Heather. And I'm hoping you guys could see good right here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with one color at a time. Yep. You can see pretty good. And I'm going to just take a five inch square and I'm going to fold it in half right here, just right in front of me. Most of these I eyeball, but I'm just going to show you so that you can have an exact. I'm going to fold it in half and find the center, and I'm going to crease it with my finger just a little bit at the edge so that I have a crease on both sides to know where my center is. And then I'm going to take a background square, just one. It's already cut in half, and I'm going to fold that in half onto itself lining it up and i'm going to put a little tiny crease at the corner of that so it's got a little crease in it right here and then do that with the other half of that piece so i do line it up June and put just a little crease mm -hmm. on it mm -hmm. remember, remember that it's on the bias so it will stretch at the little area that you're creasing <coughs> but then we're going to take and put that right sides together like this and we're going to line those two creases up and you're going to have a lot hanging over on each side Hi, i'm Bonnie. doing that on purpose because i want my blocks to be a little bigger and i don't want to lose any points so i'm going to put one on here Hi, Lizette. and it would be nice if my machine was threaded but i was rolling a bobbin i was literally in the middle of it So I'm going to line those up on there, right, this, leave them right here while this finishes. Is it your birthday, Sarah? We can all say happy birthday. Happy birthday. You might even get to birthday. sing. Uh, I'm not singing. <laughs> it's a joke. No singing. <laughs> Hi, Dawn. I took some naproxen, hoping that it would um, take Hi, away Kathleen. some of the inflammation in my face. Don't use the AccuQuilt to cut out a Cleopatra fan. Had to watch your video again. Ooh, awesome. T is the one that does the AccuQuilt stuff. I don't know if she showed on the die or just how to sew it together. I think is what she showed on hers. And Lisa, thank you for the recipes. All right. So now I have both of my little creases lined up with my little creases. And I'm just going to sew a quarter inch on this side and a quarter inch on that side. Eventually, I'll just chain piece all these through, but just so that you guys can see. Well, thank you, Jill. We're using the other tablet today because it doesn't seem to glitch. Like, Tip's phone glitches all the time. Uh, Katrina asks, do you always use white thread? Um, most of the time. Sometimes I'll use cream or black. If I'm making something with black, I use black thread because sometimes you get poke-throughs. But most of the time, I just use white. Yes, Lisa, we got them on Saturday. Thank you. Tiff and I aren't too big on uh, cooking, but we'll try them someday. All right. <laughs> so now that I have sewn Thank a quarter very inch on both sides, I am going to just finger press it back nicely all the way on both sides. 
I notice we're getting right to it today. No, no uh, messing around. <laughs> and you should have a unit that looks like this. Obviously, these dog ears, you don't want them. So I'm just going to use scissors and I'm going to go straight with the fabric and chop it off like that with just my scissors because you can do this without moving and then I'll just make a big mess of them in front of me. Nice and straight and nice and straight. And now it should look like that without the little dog ears. And now I'm going to switch to my other color. Oh yes, the part for the sewing this. machine came in what? Friday? Thursday? Thursday it came Friday? Thursday, but Scott didn't see it on the patio. It was uh, the mailman left it on the front porch um, with another box, so we didn't see the mail, or else it would have been attached on Thursday, but it didn't get put on until Friday morning. So here's my other four and a half inch square cut on the diagonal, and now I'm going to attach it to the opposite side, like that. Well, Lisa, square we will square. try them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find myself a center on these and make a little crease. Like I said, the rest of them I'm not going to do this to. I'm just going to start sewing them through, but I want you guys to see the best way to do this is to make that little crease. Hi, and I'm going to fold my square in half also and make a little crease just in the corners. Make sure it's lined up. Just make a little notch with your finger. Even the palm of your finger works, or the pad of your finger, whatever. I'm going to put this right sides together with the crease on that crease. And it's going to hang over quite a bit, and I'm going to sew this one on now. Could you want me to cut these in off No, not yet. I just wanted that press. Okay. So now I'm going to flip it to the other side, and I'm going to attach this one on this side. And then I'm going to finger press it back. Obviously all these squares are going to get trimmed down when they're done being made, but right now you should have a square that looks like this. That looks cool. So press that. Oh, you oh trimmed it up. I get to press again? Okay. Yeah. No, I'll wow. gladly. So your second one, when you add that second one, it should line up within a quarter of an inch little thingy right there so it should be square but we're gonna they're not always gonna be the same so they will get trimmed down we like the work so I'm gonna do that again I'm gonna take one color first hi Brenda hi and Brenda. put it on both sides and then I'll take the other color and put it on two sides and again you can just center them what you think is center or you can mark it I'm just doing what I think is center and then sewing them on because again I'm going to be trimming all these anyway to a size so two sides are now on uh oh Jill has a math question what? I don't know if we can handle it Jill I might need other people on her help she says I have a math question ready if I have six and a half inch squares I want to add HST to make the final square equal eight and a half inches. What size square do I need to cut the HST? You're cutting like you're doing what I'm doing, but you have eight and a half inch squares. Is that what you're saying? You're starting with an eight and a half inch square, or no, you wanted to she finish the eight and a half? Six and a half inch squares, and she's cutting to make them eight and a half inches. So she wants to know what she's. What size do I need to cut the HSTs? Oh, to make you're making eight half square triangles from a eight and a half inch block. Okay. Do you want me to read it again, or do you want to read it? She has six and a half inch squares. And want to add half square triangles to make the final square equal eight point five. Um. So she needs two and a half inches each. How big did these come out? These come out seven and a quarter. Right over seven. So when she's starting with a six, she would need. You started five. with a five, right? I, my add-on triangle for these is um, four and a half on a five. So if you're doing a six and a half, then you would need a six-inch 
to add to that, but I don't know how big it's going to come out. It's probably going to come out. If this came out seven and a quarter, it'll come out gonna close come out to eight more inches. Eight and a half. I don't know. I don't know that kind of math. You'll have to look it up online. There's all sorts of like half square triangle um, and square and a square and all sorts of math answers online, like all sorts of charts. I don't. Don said I would. Do I can't another. just do it in my head. Katrina says her sister moved into moved to out of ICU to a regular step down room. That's so that's good. good. Good to hear. Okay, so I'm gonna add my sides now. Hi Diane. Diane says hi. I kind of just eyeball these. Because when you add this second one, you'll just have a little quarter inch hanging over anyway after that first is added on. So you kind of just start out in the V. And then send it over to Scotty to be pressed. So this is what I'm making. I'm just going to make a whole buttload of them over and over. So now I'm just going to kind of chain piece all them on because I want to make this go faster. So I'm going to put all one side on and come around do the other sides and so on and so forth. And I'm just going to center them on here. Because like I said, I'm going to be trimming all my blocks down anyway. Because they never end up the same. Jill, to be honest with you, let, let's answer this the way we do it so we don't have to have any more math questions. A lot of times when Tip doesn't fully understand a math, she cuts just regular old pieces take, off to the side, like yeah. a scrap. I take scrap take fabric some scrap and fabric. I make them until I got the right size. Yes, so if you're not sure, you can always just practice. Practice makes perfect on something you don't care. Yeah, that's what I usually do. <laughs> She says, I'm in the same board as Matt's with you, Tiff. I thought you might have a magic formula. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know no magic formulas. I just make tons and tons and tons of blocks. Sometimes if I try to do something for video and I want it to be right, I make it like five times off of that's what That's another reason why I have all my pre-cuts, because I can start with a certain number and go from there. Well, Sarah's working on her first quote. Good job, Sarah. Get it done. Elena says the Robert Kaufman app will do the HST work if working out. Good. Okay, well there you go. I have that on my phone, I think. And Kim says you have a good teacher. <laughs> yeah, I know. I suck at math. Anything else? Throw at me. But math? No. <laughs> I don't know why, I just can't do it for the life of me. So I'm just chain piecing all these through just by lining them up at what I think is the right size and then sewing them all on. And it looks under me. That's the way it's going to be. Square and a square block. Something simple today. If only we could just use this tablet for every video. This is like perfection. You know it. We could. It actually works good with the internet. It's so clear. Well, the only thing is, it doesn't zoom out. Everything is so super zoomed in. You know? I'm literally just going and putting one of these on every single piece. And then I will sew on the opposite side and then trim all the little pieces off all at the same time. And then add the other sides. And then I get the iron? Hopefully. Okay.
like chain piecing because it seems like I'm getting it done faster than just making them one at a time. At least to me, that's what it feels like. And I do anything I can to make it go faster. Hopefully I cut enough. Hi, Linda. Linda says, hey, I almost forgot you were on. I was too busy. It's okay, Linda. It's fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm not here. worried. I guess I can leave it to Scott ironing because I keep wanting to look at the screen and it just confuses me because it's going too fast. Yeah, there's a lot of people on. So I said you get too many fans on there to be able to keep up with all the comments. Mm -hmm. bigger channels that go live like with like 50 60 thousand people they usually like skip through the comments and just like yeah well two or we're three. the quilting family i tried to make everyone feel important hi sonia welcome everybody joining in we're making half uh square and a squares today Hi, Elaine. If you make Elaine. it all the way through, if you stick around to the end, we will do a giveaway. Elaine says, good picture tonight. Good. See, Emily says, yes, I love the quilting family slash community here. So do I. If the channel gets huge, like the big channels, I have zillions of comments, and I have to pick and choose what I read, then I feel like I was playing favorites. I don't want to do that. Or it just takes longer to get through all the comments. Well, I already pick and choose to a degree, because we don't really discuss politics or religion at all, so I just kind of skip those when people talk about that stuff. Hi, Denise. Pieces, I think. <laughs> Jessica says quilting math is hard. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, guys, we're on live from the tablet tonight, so our quality seems to be doing a whole lot better. I wish we could do all our videos from this tablet. It seems to work very well with our internet doesn't seem to like any other device. This one seems to be loving it. Every time we do a video, you guys say how good it is with this tablet, but the only problem is that we can't zoom out. It's so zoomed in. So every one of her videos are way in. I mean, it's fine, but it's not mobile enough either. I can't just take it off the stand and put it in front of the screen or in front of the sewing. That's the only problem. It's too big and bulky. It would get knocked and Hi, Patricia. moved. Oh, I will have to cut a lot more of these pieces. Lisa says, uh, love the quilting family here. And yes, Jill, I've been ironing while Tip's making the pieces. I already ironed yeah, these. We're going to have to cut a lot more, Mr. Scotty. was wrong again, like always. I don't see how. You had 63, you'd need 63. 54 or whatever you started off with. Yep. No. Because you're putting one half on one side and one half on the other. You're only using one piece. Yeah, well. I don't see how our math is wrong. Oh well. I'll use more than half a yard like I told them in the beginning. It doesn't really matter. Hi Deborah. As long as you guys know how to make a square and a square, that's all that matters. Hi, Regine. Janie says it looks great on the TV. So I'm going to attach this. Hi, I'm Carissa. Gonna... Patricia wants to know what we're making today. Square, square. Now I'm going to switch them around 
and add the other sides. <laughs> Dawn says, see, quilting math sucks. Katrina says, Sherry is a math genius. She wrote a math cheat sheet for quilting. That's awesome. That's what Tiff needs. She needs a copy of the math cheat sheet. <laughs> I just don't do math. All right, so now I'm just going to attach the opposite side of all these. And it looks like Tiffy will have to cut more squares. Oh, well. We haven't run out yet. Emily says, when I first started to sew, I got over my head and did the math wrong on my square and a square and never touched it again. LOL. It was a pretty, pretty fairy fabric. I didn't do the math wrong on the making the square and the square. I did the math wrong on how many pieces I needed to cut for all my squares. That's why I'm glad when I... I buy yardage, mostly like solid colors and stuff, by the bolt. So if I didn't cut enough, I can still keep cutting and I didn't underestimate because I always overestimate my amounts of fabric. So. At least I do that. And then I can just tell you guys how much I used. <laughs> so far I've used half a yard of this. It looks like I need more. It doesn't look like it. I do need more. But that's okay. Nita says you need twice as many of the half square triangles as you have center square. Two squares for each center square. So 64 needs to be 128. We did 63 of each because you're using two different ones. Because I'm using two different colors. So it should have been enough. But it is not. I don't know. Oh well, that's okay. I will cut more. We'll figure it out as we go. That's what we normally do. <laughs> Hi, Heather. Heather says hello from Queensland. Hello. Thank you, Cam. I reminded everybody for the thumbs up and ring the bell and Ooh. all that. What'd you say? Kim reminded everybody oh. to do the thumbs Thank up. Thank you, Kim. And, share, subscribe, and, bell. and don't forget, you guys are uh, all welcome if you have Facebook to join the group so you can share posts and pictures of your stuff or watch up you know see other people's stuff that we talk about here in the group I don't really have many things that are off limit in the group so um, you guys can share anything that we've talked about so if you talk about you know the 500 pounds of snow out your front door post a picture of it yeah we get a lot of snow pictures I like, like to snow see them pictures. If you talked about making a um, rail fence and you got frustrated with it, even though that would be a really hard one to do, but, you know, get frustrated with it, I mean, share a photo of it. If we talk about how your dog ate your quilt and you want to know how to repair it, post a picture. There's people that can tell you. <laughs> so... As long as it's quilting related, what we talked about here, I don't mind. And the link to the group is always in the description below every single video. It's that little arrow type tab underneath every single video. And if you're on a computer, all you have to do is scroll down. So that should be right there. Mm -hmm. Heather asks, what did you think of the Triple Irish chain quilt so far, Tiffany? It's great. I can't even tell that it's... Um, being done quilt as you go. I commented on it. Yep, I saw it. It looked pretty. Yeah, I can't even tell. Hi, Joyce. Joyce says hi. Hello. 
Sarah said that's why I leave the math up to my dad so I don't have to because I'm absolutely not good at regular math. Not me either. Trust me. I, I can count change back and I can pay you a correct amount, but for the life of me, I can't add the amounts together. So if someone had $2.76 and, and $2.97 on their total purchase, I couldn't tell you what it was without the computer telling me. <laughs> I couldn't do it at all. Not in my head. I can tell you what 2 times 2 is, but I can't tell you what 2 times 365 is. I, I can't do it. <laughs> okay, honey. I don't know why. I just really suck at math. It's all right. We My brain you. doesn't see it anymore. Nita says, in the accent color, you cut twice as many as the center square. When you cut them in half, they will be multiplied by 4, which gives you the correct number of triangles. Katrina says, I can show you pictures of Sherry's stash, lol. It's probably a hearty stash. of stuff to sew. But I'll give all these to Scotty to press while I cut more fabric. Hi Shelly. Trina says any suggestions on a wedding quilt? Hmm. I don't know. Something in the colors of their choice. And fancy. I always say the Quilts for weddings should be fancy ones because that's their that's going to be their focus quilt. That's going to get shown off to everyone. Look what so and so made us for our wedding gift. Joe, he's being lazy. He's still laying on the bed sleeping. Yeah. Just we where Thumper is. We were watching Supernatural and Thumper fell asleep at Scott's feet like usual. Hi, Diana. I didn't want to get out of bed today. Today has been one of those days. I just my head hurts, and it's windy and cold outside, which does not make it nicer in the house either for some reason. <laughs> Jeannie said that'll keep Scott busy for a bit. <laughs> yeah, while well, I cut more fabric. Emily says, oh, I love the win I love Supernaturals. I sew to the Winchesters all the time. <laughs> yeah. See you later, Deborah. Deborah's got to go. Dinner's ready. Okay. Enjoy. Heather says, that's what her quilt is. It's the bride's colors. She what? The, the quilt Heather's making is a wedding quilt. It's the bride's colors. That's cool. She also said she never knew computers when she was young and had to use your brain to add things up. I had a calculator. That was my best friend when I was young. It's calculator. <laughs> Hi, Carol. Well, I had calculators, but I wasn't allowed to use them in school until I got in real high school. I'm one piece shy because you took out something, I think. Yeah, the one piece that was messed up. Remember? Yep. We never cut a replacement. You told me to take it out. Hi, Sandra. You never made a replacement for it. No. You want to see if we can make one out of one of these? Nope, it won't work. Okay. All right. Now to snip all these apart. They're sewn like super close together. And I'm going to send them over to Scotty to press them back. Make sure that they fold back perfectly like that. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to snip them apart, but that's what I want. Right there. Okay. Sandra wants to know what you're making. I am making square and a square blocks. Tons of them to make just a quick little quilt. No idea what I'm doing, but I'm making it. Oh, 
only because I didn't want to work on the Lone Star when my head hurts. So I would rather work on something that so, do you doesn't want the wrap my brain. Although, do you want um, the bottoms out or in? Don't out. Tear. Out like that? Yes. Don't press it from under. Press I'm it not. from the top. Please. Do you want to do it yourself? Like this. Yeah, I know. I'm asking you how you want them to Oh, from it, the bottom. No, I need to know. It automatically goes that way when you press it this way. Oh, okay. Okay. Hi, Francesca. It automatically folds back. She asks, what do you think about the revamped ironing board? It presses so much nicer. So much nicer. So much nicer. And Can I, I say Deborah, that again? <laughs> Deborah asks, how are you feeling today? I have a sinus headache. Feels like my face is going to explode. Yet I'm not even as congested as I feel. Does that sound weird? I feel congested, but I'm really not until I lay down. Then it like seriously both sides of my nose clog up completely. It's all this darn wind starting to get to me. Be here forever and a day, yes. Yeah. It hasn't stopped in like three weeks. Jill asks, how does your eye feel? It's fine. I'm pretty sure that's 100% healed up now. Honey, you wanted to add all these pieces to it, so now I guess you get <laughs> You're getting a lot of work, huh? Yeah. She originally wasn't going to add these greens in. She changed her mind right before going on live. Alright, so he can press all this. I need to cut some more fabric. to move all this out of the way. So I'm just going to have to press them all again when you do the other end, right? Yep. Why can't I do them like I did these? Just press it once. Because that means I have to finger press every single one. Oh, of them, okay. Which takes even longer. Okay. Alright. Just wondering. Move that out of the way. I know I need to cut more of these. <sighs> Bonnie, we have a video of how we did it. We didn't go on live, but it, we posted it the uh, same day we did it, just the other day. Yesterday. Just on Saturday. Bonnie's asking how we did the ironing board. It's, all we did was recover it, but it was in a video yesterday. Yep. And I'm probably out of screen. No, you're still on screen. Oh. But somewhat. Part of your body is. Okay, so these are four and a half inch strips. So I'm going to cut two off of here. This is 96 inch wide fabric, so technically I really only need two strips, but that should be plenty. Plenty, plenty. And then my other fabric. Diana, did you ever figure out what hit your eye? No. Never figured it out. That's okay. Cutting four and a half inch strips. And I'm not even pressing the fabric first because I'm not in the mood. So one. I'm going to cut four. So technically, I think I needed like a whole yard. It's a good thing I keep yardage here, huh? <laughs> Well, thank you, Nancy. Nancy said it was a great video on recovering the ironing board. Yep. It's definitely great with those three layers now, with that um, wool blanket folded in thirds. It definitely gets steamed through all the layers of fabric now. Oh, it's great. All right, I cut four more. Yep, squeak is happy. 
Now I'm going to subcut these in two. <laughs> the hand says, I watched yesterday. I could not crawl on the floor like that anymore. <laughs> I shouldn't either, but I did. Oh, you had fun. I'm out of the screen at the ironing board real quick. I could have done that. Because my yardage was not pressed first, so I need to press it real quick. Holy cow, you're learning so many people. Wow. Awesome sauce. <coughs> That one looks pretty flat. And that one looks pretty flat. I didn't press the fabric because I'm lazy. Francesca says attempted her to redo her ironing board with wool batting. Yeah. And it's in good shape. And Remember? I'm surprised, you know, that sheet that's on it, that's been on there for four years since I made that ironing board like that. So it's lasted this whole entire time. Jim and it's he... not falling apart. So that is a good sheet that I put on there. It's just a regular cotton sheet. Jim says he can get down, but not back up too easy. <laughs> I can get down and up, but when my legs start wobbling, then it stops, and I can't get back down and up. I start struggling after a while. All right, four Hi, and Sherry. Sherry, Sherry, yeah, Sherry. She says, hi, everyone. I have two stories from last week. I live in Lancaster, PA, in the middle of the Amish country. My husband is retired and drives the Amish around. That's nice. Okay. You know, Cherry, I was just watching Witness the other day, a Harrison Ford movie with the Amish. And Tiff walks in and she's like, Oh wow, there are horses, buggies in there. I said yes. I grew up seeing that. My I grandparents didn't say that. had Amish I asked, neighbors. I asked. Oh, we're watching an Amish movie. I've seen horses and buggies. I follow a lady who's a quilter that she's Mennonite and she posts pictures all the time of the Amish. Yeah, I had Mennonite neighbors, but my grandparents had actual Amish neighbors. Alright, I'm just going to cut a couple extra, that way this whole thing is used up. Didn't really want to stand and cut anymore today, but whatever, it's getting done. And if I cut too many pieces, oh well. Just cutting them from corner to corner, as you can tell, and then I'm just stacking them up. It should be enough to get the rest of these in the stack. Nancy says the same thing. I can get down, but getting up is not so easy. I can get upstairs, but I can't get back downstairs very easy. That's my big struggle. Stairs. Actual stairs. Yep, well, we can't have stairs. Because my hips pop out of joint. Okay, last but not least, these ones. Because that looks like a, the stack is bigger than that stack, so I'm going to cut. If I need more, I'll cut more. Thing 
Jeannie says you make it look so easy. Okay, let me cut all these now. Uh, Jeannie also asks, is that a 60 millimeter cutter? Yes. It's for cutting many, many layers, which is te technically what I usually do. I've always been time. intrigued by how the Amish live. I want to be a fly on the wall. <laughs> I always have too. But it's just a, just a bunch of farming and stuff, really. Make it yourself and farm, simple life, no electricity, lamps. I think that's pretty cool. You know, no internet, so there's no drama. Although there probably is drama within their communities, but still, to us, we don't see it. They don't put their lives out in the public, so it seems simple. Thank you, Joyce. Joyce said she voted this morning. Ooh, thank you. Hi, Scarlett. One more time. Scarlett says, hey, Missy, I wish you lived closer to teach me long arm. Hmm. Yep. At least I do videos as much as I can. Terry says last week I invited a young I was invited to a young wife's home and I got to see how they set up the quilt frames and hand quilt. Absolutely beautiful. I wish I could have taken pictures. That's cool. That should be plenty. These could just go in my pre-cut bins if that's too much. Alright. And I do have a one oddball piece. going to take one from here so I'll have one oddball one little oddball let's go over there and that can go on here and then I can start trimming so that I can start stacking the other sides or sewing the other sides on Scarlet and I said you tried to do narrow square and a square ruler Katrina. Katrina says all four of them voted. Awesome sauce. Got until the 14th for that. That was March. Nancy says she likes to get down to mop her entryway on her hands and knees. Last time she, she did, she had to crawl to the stairs to get back up. She to thought make, she was going to have to call the fireman. To make this go fast, I'm just going to lay these down right here and use my little ruler right here and just slice them off like this. I'm just going to do that on both sides on all of these so that it goes a little bit faster than scissors because Scott's ironing is a little on the slow side. So and now I'm going to have this done. I'm sorry. I'm reading the ironing. I'm doing my thing. I'm just going to line it up and trim off excess just like that. If it'll catch that one little piece of thread. Probably could, probably Just leaning up my head forward thing. No, I can feel the pressure. Like, oh, if my head is upright, it's a little bit better. When you start leaning down and you have a sinus headache, it, you can feel all the you pressure. Need to some more sinus pills? We have like three different ones. I took some earlier. I don't want to take too many today. I'm just snipping all these off using the rotary cutter instead of the scissors real quick just so that it 
it's done a little bit faster. You've been on an hour, honey. If it gets drunk, you can finish it another time and can still draw a winner. Because they ain't going to get it till it's finished. Yeah. Can't say it out loud. So. Okay, what you already told me. No, I didn't. Oh, you did. I said and there was going to be a giveaway. I didn't yeah. say what. You didn't be there. Says, yes, I'm here finally. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello, Samantha. Hello. Welcome, everybody, joining in. everybody working on? Hi, Rena. Rena says, how do you make sure the point is centered? Uh, by folding the piece in half. So you would take your starter square, and you would fold it in half like this, and you make a crease with your finger like that. And on the other side, make a crease just at the corners like that. Just a little bit, and then you can see when I open this up, you'll see those two creases. Do the same with your other square. You would fold that, or your triangle part, you would fold it in half like this. Create a little crease right there. Just remember it's on the bias, so you don't want to stretch or pull. Then when you put those right sides together, you line those two creases up. Or you can put a pin in it, which I don't ever do. So, <laughs> but. The best way to do it is to crease it, crease everything. Hello, Mary. And then when you go back the other way, crease that way, too. Patricia asks, so are all the squares four and a half inches? No, they're five inch. The bigger squares are five inch, and the little, the add-on pieces, um, my background colors, are four and a half. trim them all when they're done being sewn to seven inches. <laughs> Bonnie's watching this one on the iPad and watching the ironing board one on her phone. She's doing double duty. <laughs> How funny. So Anna asks, I'm working on a, or she says, a tip, I'm working on a beautiful black and yellow quilt top. Oh, fun. do things like that. Yeah, they like to tear up stuff. Mine's declawed, so he can't... He can't get into too much He trouble. can't get into a lot of trouble. He still tries to, though. <laughs> Emily says, I'm quilting the same ocean maze quilt I've been working on for two months. LOL, I posted in the photo, a photo in the Facebook. Okay. Hey, Angela. Angela says, what size is... This? The block and finish. Seven and a quarter inch. But I'm going to be trimming them up to seven inches. So it'll be a seven inch unfinished. Sarah says I'm working on my quilt for my mentor. Made a bit of progress today. everybody who's joining. Today is making square and square day. Yeah, I 
15 people on it. Wow, that's a lot. I'm going to start sewing some of these on now. I'm going to make them home parts and save the others as we get in. Oh, another quilt. There you go. So I just line these up without doing it. I don't do anything fancy when I do it, but because once you start sewing them, they kind of all end up the same. If you chain piece them, you're like used to where it's supposed to start and stop or how far away a, a piece and sticks. A is a phone block. Yeah. Very simple to do with very awesome results. And if you're doing like I do with two, with like what I'm doing right now with two different colors, two different background colors or accent colors or whatever you want to call it, then you're going to get a really nice result, which you guys will see the further on I get when I start putting everything together. I'm just chain piecing them through. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Did you cut enough pieces now? Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure you know what you're doing. Hi, Joy. Hello from I from Ohio. Hello. Welcome to those that are joining. So Sunday is a day I know that most of you are around and able to catch the videos. <laughs> it's the only day of the week that I am consistent. <laughs> 5 p.m. every Sunday. My time, 5 p.m. at least. Mary, be careful. Mary has to go down to a tornado warning. A what? Tornado warning. Ooh, yeah, not good. We get insane wind here, but we haven't had a tornado. <laughs> well, actually, there's been three tornadoes here. I mean, Not in in. I meant this past week with our crazy winds. Oh, yeah. That's what I meant. I didn't mean ever. Insurance is going to be Take care, man. Get blown to Oz. <laughs> it's funny, but it's not funny. Well, we were just talking about supernatural and everything, and yeah. you know, talking about tornado warnings and everything. And Dorothy and Oz. The only thing about the wool is even being covered with the sheet, we still smell the wool. That's the bad part. That's what I didn't want to have a wool mat for, was that reason. I figured with a sheet covering it, it should be good. Plus it was a wool house blanket, not an actual wool mat type thing. So I figured it would be nice because it's been washed several times in the past. Because it's an older blanket. It was, I don't know, I, I probably had it 20 years. Thank you, Carla. Oh, thank you, Carla. That was very, very sweet of you. You are so kind. Thank you so much. We do appreciate that. Um, what was I saying? Just 
No. Oh, I didn't want to smell wool. I don't. I'm. I hate smells. Smells annoy me, and bother me. And I did notice that it still smells like wool, even being covered by a sheet. No, Suzanne, we did not sell the scrappy quilt yet. Suzanne asked if we sold the scrappy quilt. <laughs> Which scrappy quilt? I thought she meant the one that you did. My Which train one, tracks. Suzanne? My railroad. My railroad tracks quilt. Which, which scrappy quilt? We do have more than one, that is yeah, true. There's a few scrappy quilts hanging in the closet that need to be sewn. Do you have any I on mean, Etsy? Um, I don't know what's on Etsy and what's not on Etsy right I don't, now. I don't remember if we have any scrappy ones on Etsy. I think she meant the train one, but I'm not sure. She hasn't commented yet. Lisa says I'll be retiring in a few months and we'll be on your schedule, Tiffany. Cool. Well, uh, Cool. I'm already retired. <laughs> Isn't everyone that was tired yesterday and tired again today? Yep. <laughs> it's the saying I grew up hearing my whole life. From everybody and anybody. <clears throat> I was tired yesterday and I'm tired again today. <laughs> Tiff, would you make a balloon to bring me back from Oz? Mm, no. Yep, Sue Ann says I would the train stay in one. Oz. Yes, I still have it. I haven't even quilted it yet. Yes, Sue Ann, the train one is still here. It is not sold yet. It's not 100% done yet either. Yeah, I still have to make back for it and all that stuff. Stay in Oz, honey? You wouldn't come back? I would stay in Oz. No? You'd stay in Oz with the Tin Man and the Lion instead of the Hairy Beast Man, your husband? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I would not wish there was a place like Oz. Get it? Yes, I get it. I would not wear my ruby red slippers. Hi, Teresa. Teresa McBrayer says hi. Hello. Watching you on TV. Hi, Brenda. Brenda says hi. She wants to know what you're working on. Square and a square. I know I start way too many projects, right? Constantly starting something new. That's me. But I didn't want to work on the Lone Star today because my head hurts and it that I can screw up, this I cannot, or that I can't screw up, this I can screw up all I want. And nobody's going to matter. Nothing's going to matter about it. Debbie's a new subscriber from the UK. Welcome. Today might be a long video. Because I'm not as far as I had hoped I would be by now because of my mathing problems. <laughs> mathing problems. Mm. Oh, thank you, Heather. Thank you, Heather. As always, you're too kind. You're too kind to us too often, Heather. One of these days, the wind is going to stop and I'm going to get tipped down to the bridge for them pictures for you, I swear. I keep saying it, but... It's been windy for weeks. It's hard to take a nice picture out there in the wind because I don't like cold. Plus, it's yeah, it's hard to get tip out of the house when it's cold and windy. I don't bother. I was offered to go out to eat today, and I didn't because of the wind and the cold. Heather says I would be the wicked witch and release my flying monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be riding on the flying monkey to get across town. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I would go hang out with all the little, uh, with the, what are they called? Wasn't there a name for those in, in Wizard of Oz, the, the little people, um, the munchkins in munchkin land? That's oh. where I would go hang out. Yeah. With all the munchkins in munchkin land. It looked like they had so many treats and fun foods to eat and all sorts of laughter and happiness all the time. 
dancing around and singing. I haven't seen her do it in so long. I have no idea. Uh, Teresa asks, do you like your Martelli cutter? Teresa McRae. The rotary cutter? Yes, I do. Let's see. Sunan so says, do you have a picture of the pattern you are doing today? No, I do not. You guys... You guys should know me by now. I don't actually make pattern and and stuff like that in advance. I just sew and whatever happens, happens. It goes with the flow. I just do what's in my head, get it out of my head, and then... Yeah, that's what I do. I do what's in my head. Hi, Kaz. Well, hi, that's what brooms are for. <laughs> I don't want to fly on my broom. I want to fly with the monkey. <laughs> I was thinking the puppy fields may help your insomnia. Right. Munchkin land. Every time I want to sleep, I'll just Munchkin go hang land. out in a poppy field and pass out. And then my monkeys can come wake me at a certain time. That way I'm not oversleeping. And then I can go hang out with the tin man and go chop some wood and hang out with the, hang out with the scarecrow and go... I don't know, make some corn or hay or, I don't know, because he's filled with hay, but he's in a cornfield, so <laughs> he could be the, one or the other. You have the hairy man And right then the here. lion, the hairy beast. he can just you don't need the lion. You have the hairy scare beast. everyone hairy. away from me. And I'll teach Dorothy how to quilt. Because Auntie Anne's gone, so she she won't. Yeah, there out. you go. <laughs> Good old Dorothy. Well, thank you, Heather. We do appreciate it. It says I work on two donations a fortnight at least when my pension comes around. We do appreciate it. it goes to buying Tiffy more fabric and good stuff. Says, next time I recover my big ironing board, I'm going to put wool down. Can't do it now. My husband did an awesome job on mine. Put big bolts in mine also. Yeah. And bless you. And I said, bless you. <laughs> that was says, a delayed That's why you're reaction. So talented. Well, I'm behind on the comments here because well, I'm ironing. I'm I feel behind. more coming, I swear. Feel it coming. Well, God bless you, Mara. God bless you. It's this, this mixed with the sinus headache. It's, it's too much, but I'm still doing it. Why? Because I love to. Are you going to alternate any of them? You see how you have more of the green than you do the white. Are you ever going to alternate it so somehow more of the white instead of the green? Or no. No. Oh. When they get put together, it'll be different. It'll look different. What do you mean? The squares are going together like this, so they'll always have more of the white than the green. It doesn't matter. Or more of the green than the white. I know it doesn't matter. I just asked if you're going to alternate. No. It was a question. No, I'm not going to alternate. Okay. Well, anyway, Shelly said that's why you're so talented. All right. Let's trim more of these. Elaine says that wind carries the valley fever. My yep. mom. Got it 40 plus years ago. A doctor told her that's how she got it. Yep, it does. It could carry it up to 500 miles. Diane says you teach the wizard. <laughs> what would oh what would you teach the wizard? Um, not math. <laughs> yeah, he'd have to teach us math. Uh, let's see. What could I teach the wizard? I could teach him. I don't know. I could teach him how to iron because Dorothy and me need somebody to iron for us. <laughs> do, do you see what I'm saying? Yes. So the white is shorter than the... Oh, that's fine. I don't care. Oh, I know. It's okay. I was just... I didn't know if you meant to do that.
they're all getting trimmed down either way. So if you're fresh into what I'm doing here, into the video today, we're making square and square, and this is what the square and a square looks like, but they have two different colors, as you can see, like that. Because I'm using two background colors instead of one for more interest because it's fun. Well, thank you, Heather. Heather says, I know what it's like trying to find money for things. We had three kids that had to do hard farm work to get things for the family. You guys live on a farm, Heather? I grew up in farm country and got, uh, you know, sent to help out a lot of times, but we didn't actually live on a farm. But my grandparents had a farm, and my best I did friend for family a had while. a farm. I lived on a farm with animals. So I got outsourced to do lots of farm work growing up. The kids' main job was to go out and get eggs every day. I'm just chopping off all the excess that I purposely made to hang over because I don't want to, I want to be trim all my blocks down and I don't want to um, lose my points on any block. So even if I didn't sew it straight, I should have continuous quarter inch seams all the way around because I'm going to be trimming every block, which is probably going to take me forever as well on that. <laughs> My hand says my grandparents both had farms. Oh, goodness. Hi, Phyllis. Phyllis says hi. Hello. grew up on a farm in Kansas, close to Wichita. That's awesome. Oh, Straight up bad. Dorothy. What's that? Straight up Dorothy. Yeah. Farm in Kansas. Yep. <laughs> We're talking about Dorothy and Oz, and now that's why I said it's awesome, man. She's in a farm in Kansas. Got two eye hair and one I'm working on right now. <laughs> can't rent them out because it would cost too much to travel. <laughs> <laughs> Although I would love to help you guys out with an Iron Man for a day, a week, however long it takes to finish that project because it would get done a lot faster with, with an Iron Man around. But travel right now, even though flights are cheap, it's still expensive. Yeah, 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 you know you'd love to get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Heather and them didn't live on a farm. They worked for other people. Picking up potatoes, onions, pumpkins, and other produce for the farmer. Yeah, paid by the bag, bucket bin, you know, and I did it. 
That's pretty cool. My grandparents did have a dairy farm, and I'm pretty sure it's still in the family. I think my uncles took it over, but I don't know very much anymore. So that's, that's all family in Pennsylvania. But they had a dairy farm. Tons of milk and cows. Half fresh bread. Uh oh. Every once in a while it happens. Oh, Teresa says so Becca and Stephanie Stitches are going to Vegas right now. Right now. Clothes and does the laundry too. I don't iron the we clothes. Don't iron clothes, but, he but I do the all the laundry. Well, I put it away. But he washes. Yesterday I went to the dollar store and I got a candle. It smells like strawberry shortcake out throughout my house right now. Oh, it smells amazing. Hi, Deborah. Deborah says, oh crap, I love that twinkle in your eyes. <laughs> Lisa says, I used to tell the boys and the hubby to go away. Don't go far. Don't be long. <laughs> go away. Angela says, Becca's going on the 16th. Yeah, to the 16th to the 20th. I have no idea. I know the schedule. I have the schedule written down because she's, she and I are. Oh, she to... was asking, Teresa was asking you if they're going to. Yeah. Because she saw a post from Becca showing the Hoover Dam. Oh, that was her trip in 2019. Uh, it was a work trip, I think. <laughs> Heather says her hubby washes the clothes and she hangs them up. That way the washing is done quickly. Now, I don't iron clothes no more now that I'm out of the military. I see no need. But we still do lots of laundry. Squeak is keeping up with you, though. We're doing our best. Because I still have a whole entire stack spilled to sew, and I'm probably going to have to cut a ton more, too. And Teresa asked, are you going to meet up with them in Vegas? Uh, I thought it was just uh, Becca and her husband going. I didn't know Stephanie was going to, because I thought it was their, that they're going for their anniversary. Okay, Nancy says so Beck and her husband are going on March 16th for their anniversary. Not yeah. sure where Stephanie is going. They'll both be out of town on Friday. Yeah, they're, they'll be out. That's why uh, me or Teresa will go live on Friday. I don't know exactly who and if what. I used to go all Friday nights, if you guys remember back then. I used to always go on Friday nights because I had my own Friday night life. But then uh, I moved my quilting stuff out of my bedroom and back into the garage and I stopped doing Friday nights. That was a long time ago. 
Agent since the Army introduced me to Storch. Yep. <laughs> It's Tiffany just asking. I'm not up on the latest information on everything oh, that is going on. That's fine. Linda says, I remember your Friday nights. Yep. It used to be a big thing, and then I moved out of my bedroom, went back to the garage, and it started getting too hot to be out there at night. And, yeah. and then I ended up in here, and... Night sewing doesn't go well with Scotty, the husband who sleeps in the room right next to here, because if he's already asleep, I can't just start sewing. That's where the no insomnia videos have came into play as well. Because Sorry, I go to bed earlier than you. He goes to bed, and then I can't wake him. Terrible. You still get to sew every single day. Don't know what to tell you. There's some days I don't, so you know it. Yeah, but you get a chance to, is what I'm saying. Yeah. It's on you whether you sew during the day. Okay. You have a chance to sew. All right. Back to these ones again. So I'm going to do the rest of this stack now. Hopefully this is enough pieces cut. Uh, this one's not sewn right. Is it um, bad? It's like coming out. Right, because the thread didn't catch. Well, I figured I should show it to you now. We're going to put it all together. I don't want any mess, mess ups. Thank you. That's what was happening to me earlier. The thread wasn't catching. Uh, why is this one all mushed in there? What happened? Because you're purposely mushing it in now, making it worse. Uh, no, it was all wonky like oh. that. Oh. Because of the thread thing that I just it. did right now, bring it back, it tightened it. No, that was this one. No, that, that was one, a different one. This was probably right before the thread happened. See, did you hear that rip just now? No. The thread got stuck too tight. No, no I didn't do it anything It was doing that then. earlier, too. It wasn't me. No, it was not you. Okay. I did not know. I don't know what has been happening with that, but... Why it's doing that? Ooh. No, I was handing that to you. It's the same thing as that one just was. It's all at the point. I'm gonna try and still iron it, or that's the tension. It's bad. That's why. Don't iron any of them. Keep them all folded. I have to sew them all. Well, what about the one you just handed me? That's, That's fixed. Okay. Okay. That one I'm trying in my bed. You want to know why my tension is bad, guys? Ready to see this? Big glob of goop in there. Big glob of goop. Holy cow. That is a big glob of goop. That big glob of goop will cause problems. See you there, Kaz. Kaz is going to have to go. The, cab the tablet is nearly out of charge. You have a good night. Or for you guys in the UK on the, on the morning. Good day. <laughs> good day. If you find any more of those that look wrinkled well, like that. it's on this pile. So here, do you just want to go through this pile? These are the last two on that pile. Just go through and tell me. I don't yep, know. look at that. No, they're bad. Uh. Okay, I didn't think these ones were on that pile either, but apparently they were. I'll take this pile. <laughs> I guess I should put earplugs in my ears. <laughs> so I don't get woken up. They'll get she lost in his ears. She uses them because of the trucks on the highway. Put the 
brakes on. Going down the ride. <laughs> Jim says, I'm back. Did you miss me? Everybody's saying yes. Mm -hmm. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. <clears throat> yep, that's what Tiffany needs. Katrina says you need soundproofing. I just need my own, not this space. Like I told you guys a couple days ago, we are thinking about selling and moving. So my ideal house has a, like a family room or something that could be closed off, you know, on the opposite side of the house that bedrooms are on. Okay, I'm doing my best on these black ones, but they're... Okay, well, I gotta pick all this. A little... Are they bad too? They or no? probably are. Yes, they are. I can see from here. Oh. Everything's been bad this whole time. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm just going to pluck out a couple stitches, and since it's on the bias, I'm just going to stretch them flat again. Did you want this one that I just signed in? You have to reclose it. I'm sorry. I'm going to flatten it with the iron. I'm sorry. And then I Give yank it to Give undo, and then I'm just going to stitch over them nice and flat. As you can see, see that wrinkling? The stitching is bad on the bobbin side. I just pull out like six or seven stitches since it's like a straight line of stitching. It didn't even, they didn't even catch properly. And there's this try your muffs then. <laughs> and then open it and it pulls the stitching away. And instead of ripping it completely out, all I'm going to do is sew right over it. Teresa says, that would be wonderful. Hope you can move. I think there's bad things happen when the tension's out of whack. Yep. Hi, Bernie. Bernie says, hi, all. Happy Sunday. Just found you on. Every Sunday. Today <laughs> Lisa be... says, interest rates are awesome right now. We're refinancing and saving a boatload. Of them. So I'm just plucking them and then stretching it so that it separates those stitches and then I'll just go over every single one of these that got messed up without having to rip all the stitches completely out. So if that ever happens to you and you just have like screwed up tension and you're using something that has a bias seam, just yank it, you know, and it flattens it back out. Look at how flat that becomes. You can Hi, see up here, a, a compared, see the comparison, wrinkled and flat. That Katie way you're not popping high. out all the stitches. You're just popping out like four, five of them across the top, and then stretching it to separate the stitches because what it did was it pulled too tight, the tension was off. So now they're laying like super flat again like they were supposed to in the first place instead of pulled tight like that. Because it was on the bike, the, top, the tension being off allowed it to yank like that. And I wasn't paying attention. Because whenever do I pay complete attention? Never. It's a fast quilter. She she was in a hurry. Yeah. Always in a hurry. Okay, now you've been on an hour and a half. 110 people. Oh, 111. Oh. Wow. Thank you guys all for being here. Watching oh. me rip 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 it you got 80 some thumbs up 84 wow that's like the most you ever got that's awesome heather says it has happened to me when i've been machine quilting for a while only to find after a while there is no stitches on the back yeah this happens to me every once in a while too. I'll just get tangled or something, or that dust bunny will get right into the bobbin thing, and it just 100% screws everything up. It was going good until now, you know, like it was perfectly fine. Teresa says Tiffany, Arizona, like Florida and Texas, draw snowbirds. You shouldn't have any problems selling. Nope. It's we not the problem selling. That. It's the problem of buying. We can't buy a house until ours sells. So we, we only own, have in the middle We own fine. outright and we have no income. 
so we won't be able to qualify for a loan to buy a house and then wait for this one to sell to pay off the loan right away. We actually have to sell this first. Yep, that's the issue we run into. So we that means there's people have to come in, in the house and look at it fully loaded with crap and go, oh, I don't want that house because people are living in it and it's going to take them a while to move. They want empty right now houses. That's the problem that we will be facing if we do move. So, we don't know how to settle that because we have no income. Mary's listening and trimming dog ears. Oh, wow, this was really bad. Glad you noticed it and didn't keep pressing. <laughs> well, most of the times when I ask you stuff like that, you tell me just to iron it out. So, that's why I normally don't ask you those questions. I was having a hard time ironing it out. Because no matter what I did, it was ironing wrinkles. You had this is Sunny D? Yep, Sunny okay. D. Oh man. I did not think I'd be picking. Alright. I am now going to rerun all these through because I don't feel like taking all that thread out. And it's doing it still. I don't know what's happening here. why it just did that. Machine malfunction. It happens. Where did you do like the views? Over here? Do we know where to keep it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it could be the bobbin too. I'm just gonna toss that and put a fresh one in and see if that Hi, Vicky. changes anything. Diane says rethread your machine. I just rethread it. Okay. Oh. Well, I don't know when she said that. Oh, probably like a minute ago. And we're gonna run junk through. We have a GoFundMe, Katrina. It should be at the bottom of the videos, right, honey? Yeah. But you guys don't have to donate or anything. We don't ask for donations. But there's one down there, Katrina. Okay. Let's see. Well, let's do it again. We have a oh, GoFundMe no. and a PayPal for those that want to give money that way because those only take 3%, whereas YouTube takes 30%. Okay, that was it. It was the bobbin. Oh. Bad bobbin. I should give that bobbin a spanking. Bad. <laughs> you can see, look at the bobbin dust. It picked it up with it. There's a big chunk of it right here. Oh. Show them out, see if they can see that on yeah, the camera. Yeah, they should be able to because this thing's really zoomed in. They should be able to see it. Check out what right happens now. when your bobbin dust gets... You guys see that right there? The glob. I'm like usually pretty lazy about cleaning that out. Oh, can I pull that big chunk off? That's what I was trying to do. Hey, which one's in my iron? This one? Yeah. Okay. It's like so built up in there. The weirdest thing. I didn't sew that side yet, that's why I haven't threw it over there. After three stitch attempts on that one side, oh look, it's nice and flat. Mm. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. So I'm just going to run all these through. I did not pull the thread out. All I did was um, detach it and yank it. I left it in there because it's not really going to be a hindrance on anything. It's just going to be a little bit thicker, but not too much. If you want to pull the threads out, you can when stuff like that happens. But I'm not going to bother. You're welcome, Katrina. That put me behind a few minutes, but that's okay. I should be able to get the rest done now that these are coming out flat again. Now I'm just going to sew down the opposite side. Yes, Katrina, if you feel like you want to donate, yes, you can also mail it to us for free. That works too. But we have had issues with post office stuff yeah. too in the past. If it's in like a birthday card type card, um, I've not gotten when people have sent me money before. So yes, I go to thank them for the gift that they sent or the card or something and come to find out they had money in it and I never got it because uh -huh. I would get a broken open envelope because there's thievery in these parts of the woods. I don't know if it happens between here and Vegas or here and wherever the next place is that gets mailed. But the hub, the main big uh, post office hub is Vegas so and Phoenix. So what she's saying is if you want to mail it, you just do it in a regular like letter letter. Don't do a, like a birthday card type thing. Yeah, if it looks like a birthday card or some kind of, you know holiday card or something. Those are the ones that attract postal thieves. At least as far as I've come to find out with all the mail that I've gotten in the past, you know. Oh, thank you, Teresa. That's... You see the dancing? Yes, that's it's like a stereo. No, is that a stereo or is that a, like a, a video, video game holder? I think it's a video game thing. Thank you, Teresa. We appreciate that. Oh my gosh, Bernadette says I had two friends that had quilts stolen out of their packages to family. And then they get an empty box in the mail, right? Yeah. Yep, I've gotten yes. empty stuff before. Sandy, those of you that know Sandy, a lot of you do, sent us... Uh, a card with money in, and we got the envelope, the post office, re put it in another envelope, put the envelope in that was all torn and chewed up, looked like someone's dog ate it, and with the card, but no money. She said she sent us a check in there too, and we never. I don't even know there. how they can cash checks. How can someone cash a check that's written someone else's name? I mean, I don't get I, it, especially if it's $5 or $10 or something, you know? I don't know. It makes know. no sense. All right. It's, it's six and one and a half dozen in the other. Mm -hmm. You guys, we leave that up to you guys. We just put the info out there. We have GoFundMe. We have PayPal. You can donate on here. GoFundMe and PayPal take three percent. Here it takes a lot. You, uh, yeah. YouTube takes thirty percent. So there's, there's. You guys can mail it. Okay, so now I'm going to work on the next stack, finally, that well, there's a dead it's sewing nice her. and flat. One of her friends sent her kids' birthday cards and they never made it. It's not even holiday season that I don't get things. It's when it comes, like, uh, like seriously, it's literally an envelope that looks like a Merry Christmas, a Happy Birthday, because... People think there's money in every card that goes to family. That's why they steal them. They I've gotten them opened even without there being money in them. Finding they, out that nobody sent money, they just sent me a nice card, and guess what? It was already opened. It was torn open. Just make it look like junk mail. <laughs> yeah. We get lots of junk mail. Send me a past due notice. Yeah. <laughs> and then it'll get here. <laughs> That'll get here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Teresa says you're the best. It's good to the best. Thank you so much, Teresa. We really appreciate that. You are too kind to us. All your irons and everything else. You spoil my life. I keep wanting to look outside because I can still see. I don't know what Zell is, Jessica, so we don't have it. What? Zell? She said, do you know that Zell? You can my tell bank me account, what it is and maybe we might look into it. My bank account won't let me attach any more accounts to our bank account. No more apps, unfortunately. So I'm not signing up for any more apps. Sorry. I don't know how else to do it because none of them pay cash. <laughs> and since there's over a hundred of you on here, I'm going to say one more thing about money, then I'm going to stop talking about money because we're here to talk about money. If those of you that do want to buy from the Etsy shop, I've said this before, if you just email us what you want to get, we'll give you 10% off and you won't have to pay Etsy uh, Tax taxes. Because not only do you get taxed, I get taxed and yeah. Etsy takes too much money. The last person I bought a quilt had to pay $15 tax, and the person before that had to pay 10 So that's money for you guys off, and we'll give you 10% off for being a subscriber. If you would like any of the this Etsy stuff on The Etsy is just there so you guys can see the full on pictures. Other than that, now we're done talking about money. Or anybody else that's interested in purchasing and doesn't know that I am a channel, and you can just buy from me direct. I've sold two more quilts on there recently. And wow, they take a lot of money. I told you guys that's why I didn't want to do Etsy in the first place, but I don't have a website. I don't know how to do all that. And Bernie says, uh, what is Tiff making? What size square is it kind of? These are five inch squares. And then the these right here are when they're put together four and a half inch squares and it's creating a seven and a quarter inch um square and a square except i am going to be trimming them all down that's why i just made them a little bit bigger so that i can trim them but i won't lose any um points at all whatsoever <laughs> well making squares and square square and square Good night, Daddy. Did he have to get some sleep? Good night. Good night. Says you're a sweetheart. I consider you a friend. How can be you, honey? Hearts. <laughs> hearts. Dude, that's like the perfect little hand heart. <laughs> well, Great Jean says it's like PayPal to Zelle. How much do they take? PayPal takes 3%. So I don't know. If Zelle takes less, maybe we'll go into it. If not, there's no real point. <laughs> yeah. I don't really need that many different things. Does that still take a fee on your side? Do you have PayPal friends and family? Um, I don't know. I don't know, but when PayPal is used directly, like, okay, here's one thing I do know. When someone comes and I turn my phone on, my PayPal thingamabobber, you know, because it uses my fingerprint or whatever, if they scan my screen with their PayPal, that doesn't take anything from it. It's weird. Like, they hold their thing over my screen and scan it. It takes no money. But if I sell something to you on PayPal, then it takes 3%. Isn't that weird? Like, so, and then on the donation ones, I don't know. It takes the same, a couple cents, you know. So, I don't know. Darlene says cash app. I couldn't do cash app. Um, it wouldn't let me hook our Wells Fargo to it. That was the first one that people told me to do was cash app, and I couldn't do it. It kept saying decline, decline. It wouldn't let me do it. Are these, uh, 
to order a bag. She wants to order a bag. She wants what? She wants to order a bag. She's going to send you an email. Okay. Yes, Teresa, that's why we didn't use Etsy for the longest time. Yeah. She says a lot of YouTubers stop using Etsy because they're such a ripoff. The only reason yeah. we did it again is so you guys could see what all we have for sale. So that you guys can have still photos? That, that's why we keep saying if you order it straight from us, we'll give you 10% off and you won't have to pay the taxes and all the Etsy fees. If you will see something on there you want, just send us an email. We'll give you a deal. One, two, three more. One. Her name says Venmo is free. One, I don't know what that is either. We'll two, have to look into three, it. We're one. not technology people. We did PayPal because that's how everybody says do PayPal, PayPal, PayPal. And then we made the GoFundMe ages ago. Well, I do PayPal because that's how I invoice people anyway. Yeah. So I don't know how else to invoice someone on any other kind of app and it keep track of all my info for me. Anyway, hi Jaded. Jaded says hi. Hello. I'm like literally. I told you if you get tired. Well, Two hours now, honey. I don't know. Tiff had a bad day today, guys. She's been in bed most of the day. It's just sinus, a sinus headache. It's been killing me all day. I can get you more sinus pills. Give me a little, red, red, one. Give me a little red one. Okay. I'm just gonna. You got your juice. Remember hanging a towel up then. There you go. Meow, meow. Hi there. And yes, I can swallow pills without water. Been doing it for years. Wendy. <coughs> Wendy says she's going in late. Hope everyone is good. Nobody's ever late when I'm here forever. Darlene says Venmo is a part of PayPal. Hmm. Uh -huh. And it's supposedly free and no fees. We'll have to look into it, Darlene. Okay. We're very low in the technology knowledge area, so. I really don't need that many options, though, honestly. If someone can't, I've already had it where people can't pay the, you know, they can't use PayPal or something because they've had a bad experience or something and they just send me money in the mail, so, for like bags and quilts and quilting and long arming and so on and so forth, so. Well, anyway, enough money stuff. Bernie says, I'm so glad Tiffany is on and having withdrawals from YouTube. How funny. And Ann says that machine is loud. It's also fast. I get things done quicker. There you go, Darlene. Darlene says they can send money orders. Yeah, money orders work too. Yep. It all works. Anything that... However... Just know that, and I've told this to people before, especially yeah, clients seen these cool little blocks. out of, t you know, out of my area that have paid me um, for bags and stuff using cash or, you know, money orders or mail checks and stuff. Just know that, um, you don't, I won't ship out the product that you're purchasing until I have the full amount of money. <laughs> uh, cause someone, someone has sent me half before and thought that meant half down now and the other half once it's shipped, but no, <laughs> that's half down only. I, require half down when I'm making a start to finish quilt so that I can purchase fabric and stuff and then before I ship it I charge you the other amount that's left over the balance so she was confused and had sent me Tiff do you have half. any idea how large this quilt will measure? Uh, it's going to be lap it'll be a lap size what are we doing? Uh, after I trim 7 them, by like 9 seven, or 6 by 9 they will be 6 and a half inch finished after I trim them, 
Because I'm going to trim them all. No, how many blocks down and how many blocks wide? Seven across by nine down, I think. Okay, seven got. across by nine down. So the blocks are right at almost seven and a half yeah, inches. Yeah, but they're getting trimmed down. So they're going to get trimmed down to what, seven inches? Yeah. Minus a half an inch on each side. So it'll be six and a half inches? Yes. So six and a half times seven? Mm -hmm. And then six and a half times nine? Yeah, those would be somewhere around that kind of number. So 42 by 54, something like that? It'll just be a little left. You'll see when I start putting it together. Your blocks are pretty. It's not much to this one. This one I didn't really go all out with. Definitely all fall colors, fall fabrics even. It's all fall, 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 fall. I agree with you there, darling. says I'm cheap or frugal. Oh well, well, I don't want to pay these kind of donations. And I said I agree with her. I've been called cheap my whole life or or else thrifty. Some people call me thrifty, some of my friends have called me cheap, but yes, I understand. for everyone. Right now it's probably... Well, they said it should be getting good weather. Like spring is coming. Right here, coming. right now, it is out of curiosity. It's cold with that wind. Well, cold for us, not cold for some of you guys. <laughs> it's 56 here right now. So, And it's windy, so it even makes it yeah, lots and lots colder. Yeah. <laughs> Kim says her very best friend of 56 years called and is planning to come from Texas in a week or so. Ooh, yeah. They're more like sisters. Visit. She says I'm three hours older than her. Hi. <laughs> June says it's 24. Jaded, it's 72. It's warm as she is. Teresa says it's 51. June says it's 5, but that's Celsius, so I'm not sure where that converts to. Me neither. Okay, how many different colors are we using? Uh, like seven, I think, or eight. Well, our our side two colors are, are all the same. It's these two. But then the middle colors, I'm not sure how many there are total. I can't thread this thing. I think there's, I don't know, is there seven or eight? Yeah, something it's like that. It's like seven or eight different um, prints that are in here. Not very many. Like I said, it's not going to be a very, hey, look at me kind of quilt. Yeah. It's just kind of on the basic side. But it'll still have that, it's made by Tiffany wow factor. <laughs> so don't worry. It'll be fun. Okay, is that how you do Celsius? What? June says do Celsius. You, you double it and 30. So if it was 5 there, it's 10 plus 30, so it equals 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Ah, see, I never knew that. I never knew that. All my years. I always wondered how they easily convert it. We, I have a friend in Canada who's always telling me about the weather there, and I never have a clue what in the heck she's saying. Hi, Karen. Karen says hi. Hello. Hi, Patty. All of these are leafy fall prints, though I can tell you that. Oh, goodness. South Carolina is hotter than us. That is in South Carolina. It's 73 there now, and it was 84 there today. Wow, that's way warmer than us. Yeah. Normally, we're the hottest spot in the nation. Yeah. Only in the summer. Bernie says, LOL, I need to see basic. <laughs> this, is, this is basic. This is going to be your basic 
earth tone color. Jim's 32 there. Genie's 56. Uh, June says it's a, a rough guide, but it's near enough. So, oh, okay. not exact, but near enough. Close enough, but not only gets us in the ballpark. All right, here, Mr. Scotty, press away so I can start. Oh, okay. Yep, just as you sit down. And I'll start trimming those other blocks into a size. So, I need to get myself a square ruler. Hi, Cheryl. Cheryl says hello. Hello. She says, how do you like your newly recovered ironing board? Love it. Love it. Love it. I just don't like the smell. It, a after the same use or you wet it anywhere in an area where you're ironing, if you put any kind of water on it, it goes right through that um, top cloth right onto that and it smells like wet wool. And I don't like the smell of wet wool at all. But I knew I was going to have to get used to it. Maybe I can just like put some essential oils or something on my ironing board so I don't have to smell it. Okay. There's still one that I... Just leave them over there. I'm going to start shutting these. Just okay. stack over there. You're sitting your stacks all on top. Alright, so here is my blocks. Now I need to trim them down. But I want to trim them all. They're all going to be the exact same size. So we're going to grab a square ruler. Grab one that makes sense to your brain. I like how you worded that. Makes sense to your so brain. So there's a bunch of different rulers on the market. I just want you to know we have Omnigrip. You can see that they have quarter inch markings, but all of your in-betweens are very small. On here, on the Fiskars, we have quarter inch markings, but you have the full dashes in between, which are easy to read. That's fine to be covered. And just like if you were to use a straight ruler, this one is the in-between dashes on all of it. You know what I mean? Just make sure you grab a ruler that is makes sense to you. And I prefer the Fiskars. Don't know why, I just do. It's so much easier for me to read. Bernadette says so she's sitting there shaking her head just like you can just like we can see here. <laughs> So I'm going to use, this is an eight and a half inch ruler, square, and I'm going to lay it on here, and I'm going to trim these down to seven inches. So I'm just going to square it up on here where I have like the same amount hanging on all sides, and I really don't like, I'm not like measuring how far away my quarter inch from the thing is. Let me just trim it so I can show you what I mean by that, because... I'm not really, as long as I see the same amount on all four sides, I'm doing good. So here's one side, and then I flip it all the way around, line it up on my 7 inch, both on the top and the bottom. I'm also watching my diagonal, making sure it's coming out around the corner area where I want it. And then trimming it down to 7 inches. And now that it's trimmed, you can see I have, I don't know, let's see, just to see. From that piece down, I have about a half an inch of a seam at that corner. I have almost a half on that one. A little bit under on that one. Yeah, about three eighths on all of them almost. So that's it, I'm, I'm not really being picky about it. I'm just gonna trim them all down exactly to seven inches. So I just lay my ruler on here and I make sure that I have an equal amount sticking out at the top, the bottom, and on both sides before I start cutting. That way I'm cutting off all the same amounts of fabric from all four sides. I'm just making them seven inch squares. I'm just lining it up and cutting seven inch. Oh, wonderful. I just broke my ruler some more. You broke the ruler? Yeah. Uh, what? You gotta remember, fresh blades uh, like to... That's one thing about the Fiskars rulers that I've noticed, is they, they gouge easily. <laughs> just be careful with that, with fresh blades. Do I need to get you another one? Yeah, this one, I'll probably need a new one sooner or later. Which is that one? And the Fiskars. Yeah, but what size? It's, oh, an eight and a half. The brand means nothing to me. 
Well, I have another eight and a half. I have the Omni Brick. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm just lining them up, making sure the same amount all the way around is sticking out, and I'll just trim it. So this should go hopefully pretty quick while Scott presses those other pieces to get the last. Cheryl wants to on. redo her iron someday soon, she says. Yeah, I used to always like I have another ironing board, a regular one without all the added stuff. I've covered that thing like five times now. Ugh. Over the years, it's the yeah, one that sits well, over there, and I have covered it so many times. We haven't done this, but that one it, on. it always rips for some reason. This, what I have on this ironing board, this sheet never rips. It's weird, it's crazy. All right, so I'm just trimming them. And if you don't have a square ruler, you could always use your mats to line things up on so if you don't have a square I know you guys can see down here right here if you don't have a square you just lay your square down and you would line it up within seven inches on here and line it up within seven inches right here to where you can see how much you have all the way around and if it's equal then you would just take a ruler. Darlene wants to know if you've ever sharpened your blades. She heard nope. that running them on aluminum foil sharpens them but she hasn't tried it. Nope. So now I have one straight line. That's what I would line think, yeah. it up with a line now. I have an that equal amount stick on both sides. I don't know if that would sharpen them. And I'm going to trim that second side. I'm just going to lay it back down again. Now I'm laying two sides up on my mat on equalness. And all I have to do is cut two sides. Come on, you can come in here. And one more time. So now I'm laying it to where you can see seven this way, seven that way, all seven this way. And then I just cut off the excess right here. So this is how you would do it if you don't have a square ruler. So if I laid my square on here, it is perfectly seven inches just by using the mat. So if you don't have a square, you can do it that way, but then you're just cutting four times longer because with the square, you can cut two sides at a time and you don't have to worry about lining anything up. At least I don't. Sarah said she just noticed you're wearing a championship, a champion hoodie. You must be a champion. Yep. Jeannie says, wow. Makes it easy. So there was plenty of room to trim all these down to seven inches. And I'll just make sure it's equal all the way around just by looking at it. Should go pretty quick. Hopefully. Huh. Are you going to keep going or are you going to sew all No, I'm going to sew all those when they're ready. Oh, okay. Well, I got a bunch ready to walk. Well, then you can cut the ends off for me so that those are ready to sew. Well, I had other I'll things. I'll show you how. I was going to do because I didn't know we were going to be on for two hours. Oh, you're going to go eat? I wanted to go to the kitchen, yeah. Okay. And start stuff. I can come back, but I wanted to go turn the oven on. That's fine. We're going to be hanging out for a while today, guys. So prepare you yourselves. Today is a long so Sunday. You said it was going to be short. I thought it was going to be short. But I wasn't expecting to have issues along the way. Uh, hey, hi, Patty. Patty says hello. hello. She says, I got the triangles. I'm late to the show. They were five and a half inch starter squares. I would show you, but I don't have, or five inch, sorry. It was a five inch starter square, and then all my triangles were four and a half inch squares cut on the diagonal one time because I rotated my colors. So. so the triangles are four and a half inch. Yeah. Carlene says, We enjoy hanging out with you. Yeah. 
Well, thank you, darling. That's nice. As long as you enjoy it. I don't think I'd line up. take a break for some food. Not much food, but some food. <laughs> I don't think I line up very good good when I'm sitting down. This is one thing I don't do very well is the sit down trimming stuff. Let's see how well this goes. I'm not a sit down cutter. I know some of you are and people get used to it but I don't know if I really am good at this whole sit down thing. You want any cheese sticks or fries? Or no. Okay. No, but I do. You guys want a piece of candy? They fall out as soon as I open it. Of course I want a piece of candy. Do you have anything good? We got all sorts of stuff. I refilled it with some I know. Russell I, Stouffer mint. I bought you the candy. I <laughs> refilled it <laughs> with some marshmallow caramel Russell Stouffer's caramely things. That's not what I'm going to have right now. I'm just going to have a little red thing. But here, have your snack. Okay, good. Thank you, guys. This thing's going to be empty before we know it. Come on out, you stupid thing. Okay, that should give me something to do while I run back and forth. Well, I was going to have you do that, but that's okay. Oh, I can do that, too. What are you doing? I'm going to trim these sides now so that we can add the rest of the pieces <laughs> and have them all Jim, ready. I'm already hungry. You're going to make it worse in here. I'm telling you. Jim's eating pizza. All right, so I'm going to trim all these off before I trim more blocks. <laughs> he says, I use a stool to sew and cut. <laughs> it's great because I'm short. <laughs> I'm, I'm short, too. My old table was great for the cutting part, but not for the sewing part. Teresa tells you that uh, Russell Stover's are her favorite. They're yum. Yes, I took Tiff to the dollar store yesterday, and yes, she bought a whole bunch of junk. Not a bunch. I, I bought beef jerky. Two and packs of beef jerky. How many packs of little trolley packs. worms? Two pack, they're little packages though. I know, it's a dollar store stuff. Trolley worms, two different flavors, and then I got more mints because my mint thing is getting low because I eat so many of them a day. And then more candy for this, just two packages. And then I got um, corn nuts. Did I get corn nuts? Yes, yes I got corn you did. Nuts. And Scott told me to stop chewing them because they were so loud in his ear. He, was fell asleep. he fell asleep. I fell asleep laying on you, and you woke me up chewing on that. Yeah. And then your belly was going crazy. I didn't tell you to stop. <laughs> your belly was going insane. Your belly was as loud as you. Oh, Diane says her hubby made cinnamon rolls this morning. I made a tip some cinnamon rolls not too long ago. She said no more. The sucky part about cinnamon... Oops, I didn't cut the other side. The cinnamon rolls is no one in the house but me eats them, so I always have to eat all eight. Yeah, I make the kind from the store that you just quick throw in a pan and throw in the oven. And then when they're done, they come with their own icing you just squeeze on. I make the easy kind. I don't know if your hubby made homemade ones, but yeah, I didn't do homemade. <laughs> we don't do homemade anything. I know. Every once in a while, I make... Homemade meals. Well, your enchiladas are homemade. But it's very rare. Oh, this is... Well, I'm still not done ironing. You're going to be done before me. And you wanted me to do that. What would you have been doing? Cutting the rest of the other blocks. Well then stop cutting then and I'll do that. Nope. I still got a lot of iron in to go. It's fine. We're going to get this done. This is just not a quilt that you can quilt in a day. <laughs> well, we're talking a lot too. If we were talking, we'd go faster.
Who's sewing while listening? And who is just hanging out? I don't care. We're asking it all over again. Because there's more people than there was earlier. What even? Well, there's 108 now. We could get up to 112 as the most I saw. And I need to get more done before I can tell you what today's giveaway is going to be. But I am nowhere close to having what my goal was for the night done. I will cut that stuff. I'm almost done ironing. Just start cutting your other pieces. You know, because I'm going to chain pieces on and have you have something to iron when you're done making your little food trip. Oh, you said you wanted to cut other pieces. I can get those done. Sewing is faster. Okay. I got three pieces left to iron. One more set. Tuesday I go to the doctor's guys for my wrist to tell him that the shot has worn off. But it, it works, so that means you can do the surgery. I definitely have lots and lots of numbness. It's not the same pain as before. Before I was having issues with my whole hand and wrist. This time it's like single sided. So the last time the other problem that was going on, remember I told you the doctor said that there's probably more than one issue going on. The other issue is still good. Now it's just my wrist and like some of these fingers, a little bit of this finger and like partial of my palm and I could feel it pretty strong but as long as I keep moving it it's fine it's when I'm like at rest and stuff it feels like it you know like when you sit on your foot too long and your foot falls asleep that's what it feels like when I'm at rest it starts doing that if I'm moving it around it takes my brain off of the the pain feeling Okay. Two more of these. I can start sewing them all. He didn't leave me with anything to read. So I have no idea what's going on in the chat. I probably could turn my phone on and see. Alright. So all these on. And I'll just turn my phone on so I can see, since you guys are with me for a while today. Uh, the surgery will work. I have the shots and physical therapy before they would do surgery. Yeah, that's what he wanted to do for me, too, for shots and stuff. I was already doing physical therapy, though. So, Well, at-home physical therapy, because there is actually no physical therapy for problems like that in an actual therapy office because of the whole COVID thing. Alright, so I'm going to sew all these on now to these. And then I can have Scotty press these while I finish cutting the rest. And that will be all of my blocks. Hopefully. Because I probably could have miscounted like I several times now already. cousin gave up a long time ago. Best surgery I ever had was carpal tunnel surgery. Tip, what are you making? I am making square within a square. Lots of square within a square blocks. I figured it would be a quick project for today, but so far it's taken me a while. More than, more time than I thought it would. But then I did have thread problems. And so on and so forth. But now everything seems to be good, so. And for those that are just joining and don't know, I started out with a five inch center square and then I used two different background colors.
cutting four and a half inch squares and then cutting them on the diagonal once on both of them. And then now I'm sewing, I sewed two sides on and now I'm sewing the other to make a square and a square. Which looks like this. And they're seven inches when I'm done trimming the trimmings off of them. comments right here. Do you have anything up there? Mm -hmm. Oh, then I'm not good. You walk away, you snooze, you lose. No, it's not getting them. Last thing I have is something made cinnamon. There you go. Oh. You have to refresh it every once in a while. Okay. It'll kick off one of the more devices that are on it. It's a YouTube thing. It's a YouTube thing. Did we say hi to Robin? Hi, Robin. Once in a while we cook Bernie, but not often. We don't cook a whole lot. I do make breakfast for dinner quite often. I do like that. But... When I learned how to sew, I forgot how to cook. That's what my bag says, and I'm sticking to it. I literally just don't cook. We eat a Hi, lot Donna. of sandwiches. I'm just hanging out doing bells. I eat a lot of TV dinners. Healthy TV dinners, but TV dinners. Bernie asked, how long did you shot last? Uh, not even a full month. Hey, Kathleen. Like, what, two and a half weeks before I started complaining again about it? Yeah, it didn't last very long. <sighs> Tracy says the surgery will work. I had shots and physical therapy before they would do the surgery. Yeah, I read that already. Okay. I have dust. If you guys ever join my channel and you see me constantly doing this, this is the thread dust. It's so messy. I probably should just wear a Hi, mask. Hi, Susie. Susie says greetings to one and all. Hello. Hi, DB. Oh, Susie's in Vegas. Well, we're not far. We're in Lake Havasu, Arizona. We're only like not two far. hours. DB says, great job on recovering an ironing board. Oh, yes. It needed to be. It was bad. It was so flat. It was like ironing on straight wood. Thank you, Patty. Patty says, the video is great today. Because we're using the tablet. We figured the internet would be bad, so we used the tablet. And this tablet really, loves really, the internet. It's really, really windy outside, so you guys can tell when it is with my internet service. But the tablet does good on windy days, so I'm going with it. Hi, Tony. Tony says hi. Hello. <laughs> Susie says hi, neighbor. <laughs> Not far. No. We're going to Vegas next month. Yep, we are. I'm going to go quilt shop hop. try to meet the So Yeah Brothers while I'm there. Hopefully. We'll see. Kathleen has a question for everyone. She says, I was given a chunk of fabric blocks to test the spa cut out. Whatever that means. I 
I, here's the thing. The interfacing is a three-layer thin white, silvery metal white. Hmm. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Oh, white, silvery metal white? Then that would be um, the uh, the oven mitt stuff. Um, oh, the word is escaping. You guys know what I'm talking about? It's in oven mitts and pot holders. I just recently used it in a video. There's a word for it. Yeah. Uh, that's got silver and white. Do not put that in a microwave. Donna asks if you're going to go see So Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping to. In Silverite. Yeah, that's the word. Tony and Nita got it. I knew someone would say the word I, as long as I put what I was trying to say out there. <laughs> oh. A bunch of people now got <laughs> Now that I, I couldn't get the word out. That's one thing I don't like about my brain is sometimes I, I know what I'm trying to say and I can't say it. So many times things go on the tip of my tongue. It happens so often. It kind of sucks. Susie said you have to make an appointment to see them. They're very, very busy. She used to work for them as their long armor. Well, I should be able to. I can just message them. I'm not going on a, a de-stash day, so that should be a plus. Yeah, we ain't buying no one. <laughs> It's for insulation for lunch bags. They can make oven mitts. I imagine lunch bags, all kinds of stuff, right? Uh, and yes. I'm going to cut some more pieces because I'm out. <laughs> Becca says, you're still here? Yes, I am. Yeah, she told me it was going to be a quick video, Becca. <laughs> uh, my quick video has turned into a not quick video. I'm working overtime. If you want to go on and do something, you're more than welcome. Yeah, we've been on two and a half me. hours been now, on Becca. For a while. You can go on. You don't have to wait on us. We are doing a giveaway, though. Unless it's late. I know it's probably late where she lives, too. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Hi, Ellen. Ellen says hello. Okay. All right. Keep, keep on keep on the sway. <laughs> Becca says your video quality looks smooth today. Whatever you're doing, don't change it. It's because we're on from the tablet. The tablet likes the Internet. It's the only thing we have that likes our Internet. Becca says, nope, I'm in bed. Oh. I wasn't sure. And you can't use insulin bread in the microwave, Diane says. Nope. Didn't I just say that? I don't know. Just reading the comments. Oh, yeah, Becca, I love the video from the tablet. We use it once in a while when our internet is picky, but the only problem is it doesn't zoom out. It's so zoomed in. We can't do any other... And the tablet, I can't move the tablet like we can with my phone because it's on a... It's big. It's, it's an 11 inch. It's almost like a computer. It's literally the size of a small computer. That's the kind of tablet it is. It's on. It's got a keyboard and everything. Plus, I like reading the comments on it because I can type you guys questions with better typing. I gotta go potty real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. I'll read comments. <laughs> I don't know, Becca. Are you sure you want to ask her that question? I'll ask her when she comes back. But I don't know about that one. This is pretty quick. I still want you to come out here and quote with her, Becca. You guys do one together. I think that would be awesome. Let's see. 
while she's gone, I'll show you guys a bunch of different blocks here. Give us something to look at instead of just the blank room. Okay, so here's this one with the writing on it. It says peace, love, laughter. It's really nice. This one's just a black center. Let's see. And there's some with like cherry branches sort of looking. I'm showing them your stuff so they're not bored. Okay. Becca uh, has a question for you. She says, you were right. I go super fast on the long arm and I love to work one handed. I think I'm your quilts twin. She says, want to race? <laughs> yeah. I told her she's it in for it the there. That's way it goes. I told her she doesn't know what she's asking. Does your new machine, Becca, does it have um, a beeping from going and too fast? This one, stitch little leaves in there. Or can you turn your beeping off? Because we don't, I don't know how to turn my beeping off. Someone else said the other day in a video that they can turn their beeping off. I don't know how. So I get beeped at with mine. Yes, yours likes to beep at you. There's one with the leaves. And there's at least two more that Tiff has. I don't have them at the moment. Yep, Becca can turn hers off. She said she already did it. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to do that with mine. She says, ha ha. I don't know if I can, but we'll see. pieces are left after I run out of this last one so I'm not over cutting because I don't feel like over cutting any more stuff <laughs> I can just quote number two today so she's been using it Good. Very good. I should have used mine today, but I don't feel good. So I figured I'd do this instead, but this is taking me forever now, too. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, six, Katrina says seven, Sherry used eight, insulated bread in her microwave, ten. and the fire department was called because it blew a wall out. Holy oh, cow. my goodness, yeah. Goodness gracious. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Diane says, wow, that's learning the hard way. One, two. Yeah, I caught a t-shirt on fire Three, in the microwave once. Four. So you can't put clothes in the microwave. I got a t-shirt soaking wet, and I thought if I put it in the microwave, it'd make it nice and warm, like coming out of the dryer. And no, it caught on fire. Luckily, we caught it <laughs> before it blew anything up. But yeah. I caught it. Well, we, Nine, that's ten. us in the family, didn't blow the microwave up. <laughs> Yep, hold them. They're, they're blended fabrics. You cannot throw them in there. Well, that's definitely learning the hard way. Yep. Sucker caught on fire. Oh, what? Every time. Every time. I always close the blade because I leave my blade open in this little lip thing. Hmm. I probably just cut too many. Huh? I should have only cut five. Oh, well. I'll have half square triangles for later. <laughs> Teresa says to Becca, you will love your snappers. Becca, said, the, Becca says, I can't wait, pinning sucks. She says, but pinning leaders is 100% better than basting. Yeah. Just right now, while you're on pins, don't lean your belly against the, the bar. Because <laughs> the pins will go through your belly when you get towards the end. It's happened to me. 
Just saying. Just saying. Superman says, my oven manual actually says do not use oven to dry newspaper. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Good night, Sarah. Sarah's going to bed. Sorry, I'm taking forever, guys. <laughs> Katrina says, Scott, she didn't even get fired. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Here, start pressing. Okay. Bam! I had to give you something to do. I only have nine pieces now to sew on and then the rest I just need to trim. Well, yeah, I'm here to help you. I've been helping you this whole time. I got a couple minutes. I just went and checked on it. Oh, here. I don't think you guys saw that one yet. Design. It's called a print, not a design. design. A design is what you make out of it. Yes, well. It's what's printed on the fabric. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Jaden says I thought that would work. See? I'm not the only one that thinks putting a t-shirt in microwave would dry. <laughs> but no, for those of you that don't know, it does not work. He says, but I've put a washcloth in the, in the microwave before. I said, yeah, because the washcloth no, is 100% cotton. I put socks in the microwave, even. Then they were 100% cotton socks. <laughs> I don't know. No, it doesn't. Well, it can, yes. It can, but not in the microwave. It doesn't emit the whatever happens in the microwave. me. Hi, Dawn. Dawn is back. They actually, on most microwave warnings, they say don't put anything other than food in your microwave. Not even clothes. Yeah, well. But, you know. more and then I could start cutting come on come on and I'm just gonna stand to do that I'm just gonna repetitively cut after cut after cut trim them all up. right here all right so I'm trimming them all down to um, seven inches like I already told you guys with my handy dandy square ruler I'm just evening out where I need it to be equal equal and then I trim perfect 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 ah stop moving don't move See how many I can get done in like the next few minutes. And I just hit that cut in my ruler again. I'm taking them down to seven inches. need to have 100%. Mm. Well, I know a lot of you have waited around and a lot of people have waited, but I'm going to tell you what the giveaway is while I'm doing this because I should have just said it earlier, but I'll say it now then. 
So the giveaway is, I am going to be, I wanted to be able to show it to you, but my time is taking too long. The giveaway is this quilt that I am currently making, which now you have no idea what it's going to look like because I'm still doing it. So I will be giving this quilt away when it is 100% complete. And what I want you to do is after this video, when the video is over, comment in the comment section of the video. Um, I don't know the word giveaway in a comment so that I know you want to enter the giveaway. And then I will do the same thing I do every time. And I will draw your guys's names from that. And then by the time this quilt is finished, hopefully by next so Sunday, that I will be able to give it away because I'll be able to show you its completedness. So after the video is over and you're watching the replay and or you don't have to watch the replay to go down into the comment section when the video is over and comment the word giveaway. That way I know who's entering the giveaway and I can put you in into the drawing so that you are entered into the giveaway. Make sense? And then, obviously, it's to win the quilt that I'm currently making right now. This is what I am giving away. So, you guys will <laughs> see the Lisa whole process. Lisa says that was easy. I was afraid there'd be a test. Oh, no test this time. Just hmm. doing an easy one. Jim says awesome. Teresa says nice. Diane so, says oh, cool. Just remember to come back after I'm completed with the video to go into the comment section, which does not work during its live stream. Then you go into the comments and just write the word giveaway, and I will enter your name into the thingamabobber, and then it'll be a random name picking, and hopefully by next week this whole thing will be completed. And it's just me, you know, I was hoping to be able to show you what it's going to at least sort of look like before everything but I gotta be able to cut some more of these blocks out and you guys can see it through the week we'll show it to you when it's done yeah how long are they gonna have to put it in you can um, stop it tomorrow or are you gonna stop it next week no I'll draw it next Sunday so I'll stop next Sunday okay so they can put their names in all through then yeah on this video not next Sunday's video it has to be on this video yeah, this video only yeah and this is for uh, local people. I'm sorry, those of you in the out UK, of the country, and I cannot, Australians. I cannot ship it out of the country. We can't ship this international. I'm sorry. We have done one giveaway for our international friends, and we will do another one again. Hi, Amanda. Good night, Heather. We'll see you again, darling. Good night to those who are leaving. Sorry I waited this whole entire time to tell you about the giveaway, but this is what I'll be giving away. Is this quilt when it's made? Just know that it's very neutral, um, earthy tone colors. And it should, it's going to be a lap size. I know that at least. Enough to sit on a lap or a child or whatever. And Scott, I think, held up the prints to show you what kind of prints they're. They're all greens and reds and earth tones. Well, yes, Ellen, if they want to pay for the shipping, then yes, by all means, they can do Enter, it. But yeah. I don't know what the shipping would be. Yeah, I don't know what it would be either. It'd probably be in the 40 to $60 range for shipping something like this out of the country. It's expensive to ship out of the country. Yeah. And then they have to pay fees once it gets into their country too. We've already learned that as well. Hi, Linda. So, just a reminder, after this video is over, if you want to enter to win this quilt when it's complete, you have till next Sunday on this video to write the word giveaway and then I will draw a name from that, all those entries on there. But you can't do it till after this video is done. Being processed. And the sound is starting to screw up. I'm sorry. I don't know how.
how to fix it. Jim says it sounds like you're popping popcorn like Teresa Louise video. Really? That's weird. Go turn the sound up on it. Darlene says sound is a little statically. Hold on. Let me listen. Start talking. I want to hear what sound is. Okay, well, Kelly says it was $75 to ship a lap quilt to Ireland. How see, much? $75. Oh, yeah, see, it's a lot of money. So, so if they want to pay shipping? It, it, those of you, we have a lot of Canadians and Australians and UK people. If they want to pay shipping, by all means, but just so they know. Okay, did that fix the volume or the sound? Did that fix the sound at all, guys? Let me know. Let Tim me know. It sounds very staticky. And very, very staticky because I could change out the microphone. Darlene says no, they, no. They're all saying no. Okay, hold on. Let me change out the microphone. How about now? Is it better now? Let me know. Let me know now. Does it sound good? Ellen says it's a Tiffany Quilting Life original. They're all saying no. No, that didn't fix that? Um, let's see. Well, we're getting off now anyway, right? Uh, I was going to give them a kind of an example of what it's going to look like. How does that sound now? Can you tell now, or does it still sound horrible? I'm saying no still. Oh, my goodness. Some people are saying it's fine. Really? I'm just saying no and cracking. Oh, I saw it. I saw a yep. I'm getting no too scratchy, cracking, static. Okay. All right, no well bad. then, I won't talk. How about that? And I will just lay some of these blocks out real quick. And that way you can have a general idea of what you're entering to win. How's that? Before I get off of here. Because I need to clean some of this up. All right. <clears throat> now I have the hiccups. Okay. The tablet sound is breaking. All right, let me finish trimming this. Good night, Carissa. Maybe your chewing is making me crackle. I don't have any of the other colors to add to this at this very moment, but I'm going to lay this out so you guys can see a general idea of what my hopes were for this to look like. And then it'll also get borders too. So just pretend that all the colors are here. They're really not, but we're going to pretend for now. This is what's going to go together. TV says when you just lean forward, it was clear. <laughs> really? Yeah, they're saying when you lean forward, it's getting clearer. That is weird. Alright, so here's just the general idea. Obviously, the colors will be mixed around, but this just gives you a general idea of what you are trying to enter to win. Because, yeah. Oops. This is what I'm doing here. So just pretend there's more colors than that. That's what I'm doing. Sure. One one. That's not, that's, that's. That's what? That's so that is what I'm making, but bigger, obviously. So all those general colors that Scott held up and showed you guys. It's going to go together like that. That's all I'm doing. Okay. I showed them every one but this one. This one's the only one they didn't get to see. Show them this one. Right there. It's like a green with whatever. So, this is what I'm making. 
So I'll be a while before I have all these completely trimmed. And I will update you throughout. Well, it says it looks like Argyle. It, I will update throughout the week. And this is what I'm doing. So once I get them all, I'll lay them all out. So that way the colors, there's, like I said, there's only like eight colors, eight prints in here. So I'll shift them around so that no two colors are next to each other like it looks like right now. But I'll shift them around and then sew them all together. And then by next Sunday, the whole thing should be done, quilted and everything, hopefully. So even though I do have long arm jobs to do, but I really wanted to do a giveaway. And it's been a long time since I did a, a big kind of giveaway. So I wanted to give away a quilt. I wish everybody could have a tippy quilt, but it's kind of hard because <laughs> it's only me. So that's what I'm doing. And don't forget to enter. Just all you have to do is go. I say the sound is better. <laughs> right when I want to get off. Uh, after this video is done and uploaded, which takes, you know, like three minutes or so, just come back or do it throughout the week to the video, this video only. Write the word giveaway. You have till next Sunday on this video to write the word giveaway to enter. If you do not do that, then I can't enter your name. I won't enter your name if you're entering the word giveaway from any other video. That's not how it goes. It goes on this video only. And that way um, I can make your list of names in the system and then it can draw a random winner. A random winner. What? A random winner next Sunday for this quilt how's that sound yummy i think yeah. so yeah. sounds yummy like a yummy a warm quilt for whoever wins yeah. this is what i'm making i saw it in my head and i was like hey that that looks cool with that with that charm pack mixture of charm pack and added pieces <laughs> so all right anyways i'm gonna get off of here now because i've been on forever today and <laughs> I have my all of these plus a whole stack that he's doing to trim down. And then once all that's done, I'll put it all together. And maybe I'll just post pictures in the Facebook group or whatever. But you'll at least get updated throughout this week, though. I do have to work on my actual client jobs. I was just hoping I wouldn't have a sinus headache. Uh, plus, you still so. have to finish the scrappy quilt. Everybody's asking about it. If it's for sale and everything. Oh, the railroad tracks? Yes. Yeah. That has to be long-armed, but I also need batting for that size. So, uh, you'll have to wait on that. And when it comes available for sale, it'll be first come, first serve. Just letting you know. That's how it works with my quilts. Well, you have client quilts and other things. And I have finished, client too. quilts to long arm, too. So. You're getting yourself in over your head, which I keep telling you not to do. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. I'm going to go and lay in bed because that's what I want to do. Thank you guys for hanging out, as always. And I hope you guys enjoyed your Sunday. I did. I got to have some stuff done. And I'm giving away a quilt when I'm done making it. So that's a plus. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, like my video, share with your quilty friends, as well as comment giveaway under this video when it's over. Okay? Thank you guys. Good night. See you next time.